So, you know, this is a kick for the president. He's working like crazy to get this thing through the Senate, right? And he's facing a heap of trouble with angry Republicans and a lot of Democrats in the House. So is the White House kind of like a Toyota Camry with a stuck gas pedal careening off a cliff? Let's ask Jonathan Honig, Lizzie McDonald, Mike Norman, and Kristen Benz. Kristen, what do you think? Um, I think it's absolutely careening out of control. I think it's a suicide mission going terribly wrong. And I don't think it matters if Obama's in Australia or home or Timbuktu. Australia, I wouldn't rule all that trip. Some of the other places he's going, it's no big deal. But Australia, if you've ever been, that's beautiful. All right, so Mike, um, <laughs> I love what happens now? I mean, we've been focused on the Senate, yeah. right? Are they going to get a supermajority, a majority? Um, and this thing could be undone in the House. And furthermore, by what seems relatively arcane, this Medicaid provision. Yeah, it can be. But the fact that we're still here talking about this throughout everything that we've been through in the last year since he has taken office, and despite, as Representative Gingrey said, 16 million people unemployed, the electorate crying out for help on jobs and the economy, he's so focused on this. Neil, I think it's going to happen. He wants it. His advisors want it. It's the one crowning Does achievement. Does it worry you that I agree that you <laughs> get it? Would you change your mind if you knew that I agreed with you? Would, it, would I change my mind? No, of course not. Okay, good. Not. Lizzie, I think well, Mike's well, right. I think he's going to get it. Now, I don't know how he's going to get it. I don't know whether you, you sell judgeships. I'm not saying he's doing it. It just looks bad. But, uh, it, you know, I'm just saying that he's going to get it. Well, it, it's become the identity of the Democratic Party. So he has no choice, right? So, you know, the thing is if... Well, he does have a choice. Bill Clinton had a choice. Well, Bill Clinton had well, a it's choice. But it's but become his identity. It's become his identity. That's what I meant. That's right, well, Mike. Well, so, it was Bill Clinton's identity. He was wise enough well, to say, no, you know, we're not going to put this... No, there was, no, there was welfare reform. There was other things going on in the Clinton administration besides health care uh, reform. So, you know, but... but well, there are other things in this guy's administration. Yeah, He's done I, a hear, lot of stuff. I hear your point. I, I, but he made it uh, a campaign stump speech as well during the run-up Do you think he's going to get it or no? I, if he, if the, I, 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 I don't know if he's going to get it. I think he may not. I think he may not. All right, so Jonathan Odegaard, the over and under, I say he's going to get this. He's going to get, get it. it in two weeks. Let's say it. Well, Neely, he's, he's going to get something, right? I mean, the president's goal is to, in some manner, expand government's role in health care. The Republicans, to varying degrees, want to keep government out of health care. And I think he'll get something indeed. I mean, the president, Nancy Pelosi, they consider programs like Medicare, Medicaid to be success stories. So even if he doesn't get the comprehensive single-payer plan that he advocated for just a couple of years ago, he will likely succeed in expanding government's role in health care to some and, degree. And he, which is now you're crawling back. What's your point? Well, no, no. The Blair House <laughs> summit was all a warm-up act. Is so-called. That was the attempt at so-called reconciliation of another right. piece to get the Republicans all buttered up, right. and then you set them up. Well, and then Kristen, all I'm threat. saying is whether you want to go warm-up tees, theater, all of the above might be accurate. I'm saying that he will push on these key points in which he feels confident he has the key votes. The House might be dicey. This Medicaid thing might blow up in his face. But he's going to get something. And, and, and it's the proverbial camel's nose under the tent. And, and you know, the, the little secret there is that there's the rest of the camel outside the tent. He's going to get it. The well, irony, though, keep in I, mind I'm that talking this to has Kristen nothing Nutter, to do with health care. <laughs> Kristen? <laughs> Remember, this has nothing to do with health care. This is about a permanent power grab. And it's funny that he was admonishing John McCain about campaigning when that's the very thing that he's doing. So he's on a suicide mission, and he's going to barrel this through. No, I'm Mike. That, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to stay there. <laughs> After that, that, no, I don't want to hear no, from you. Medicaid no, Medicaid is we're, we're, for all the states. No. The Cornhusker okay. kickback. Did I say I wanted to 15. talk any more about Medicaid? Well, no, you you're, you're understanding. Time out. Time out, Chair. We're done here.